Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Outward. Specifically, we're looking at the Soroborians DLC today, or rather, I guess I've got it and that's why I'm doing it. I think it integrates stuff into the main game, but it's not like I'm going to be able to go straight to it as a separate campaign or anything, I don't think. I just think it's a it's an additional sort of region and more dudes and more stuff to beef up the main game. Now this, I played back at launch. Um, I think I had it on Epic, but I'm playing it on Steam today because that's, that's how it's worked out with the DLC and setting that up. Um, this is a game that I wish I played more. It is so hard and unforgiving. It's Dark Souls-y, but it really fits in with a lot of the stuff that we like to cover on the channel because there's a huge bent on the survival busy work of, of adventuring, which you do not see in any other game. So it plays in that third person adventure and intense combat, high damage, you know, iframes, that sort of stuff. But um, bandaging for healing, crafting for cooking, temperature conditions, so wearing furs in the in the winter and wearing, you know, desert attire in the well, in the desert. Um, having to rest in a tent, that sort of thing, craft everything, uh, it's, it's bloody intense, um, you know, you have to sort out, are you going to carry a torch in one hand, or are you going to attach a lantern to your backpack, you've got a backpack that you can dump while you're in combat to try and get better maneuverability, very cool stuff, very intense, and, uh, and like I said, the Soroborians DLC seems like the perfect excuse for me to come back and have a look at it, so we're going to go... New game. That's the other thing as well. You can play it sort of co-op. Hardcore, no. I think hardcore, you die and that's it. Name, Jim. Oh, uh, yeah. We could be a Jim or we could be a Scarlet. We'll, we'll be a Scarlet. We'll be a Scarlet Seeker, in fact. Male or for my... Oh, my God. No, we'll go male. What is this? Aurelian Tremot. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know what any of this crap is. So, let's go. Aurelian. Oh, random. What's random do? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh man, you know how I like character creators, of course, you know, it's very important that we get the looks and the, ha you know, the, the sort of photorealism of the era, but we have to make sure we've got our bloody modern edgelord hair colours, Christ, unbelievable, alright, Scarlet, we're gonna go male, we're gonna go, what was it, Aurelian? Face on. Oh, get this fucking hair off my head. How many hairstyles does a man need? All right, face styles. What we got? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, there's some some dinky looking heads. Look at that. Look at that dead fish face. Yeah, that that's got me going. That gave me a moment for pause. Hair color. What do we got? Well, we got like a silver fox sort of arrangement going on here. What's this legacy nonsense? Okay. No legacy. Hairstyle. Oh my god, no. Oh no! Is this a JRPG or what? I can't tell. Oh yeah, that's sort of dinky old man here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. Oh no. Oh yeah! <laughs> yes! Alright. Oh my god, no, no, the silver fox is the way to do it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Create, let's go. God, I hate character creators. Wild beasts drop body parts. Powerful weapons and... Yeah, like, so you can cook the food and you can boil water and all that sort of stuff. And potions can be crafted from these or can be used to arm powerful traps. Yeah, good. Good. Now, if I recall, there's this really... It's an interesting world building um, concept and it, and it gave me cause for upset. I, I think that debt passes generationally. No, not just debt. No, Sins of the Father, which I find a really fascinating concept to explore in fantasy and I think that's in full force here. So I believe you start the game like, I think maybe your forebears did something wrong and you have criminal charges against you in lieu of that. Interesting stuff. We'll, we'll find out. I can't really remember, but but the whole being being born into prisoner indentured servitude, that sort of stuff, because of your previous sire, I suppose. Well, I mean, you know, your predecessor. 
I find that interesting. All my life, I've lived within the safety of Cierzo, spared the brutality of the world outside, but life in Ori is never that easy. For all the safety that my tribe provides, our laws are harsh. We are judged not as individuals, but as bloodlines, right? Yeah, that's what I was getting at. The failure of my bloodline weigh heavy on me, or failures. My grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. We've paid the debt caused by her actions ever since. I wonder what she did. Um, I joined an expedition across the sea with my old friend Zan, hoping to uh, hoping the money that were, uh, there would be hoping the money made there apologies would be enough to clear my debts. This was a mistake. I'm lucky to still be breathing after our ship hit rocks on the return voyage. Oh, that's right. I think I'm going to get docked for the lost cargo. Now I have no choice but to pick myself up again and face the wild, untamed land outside the walls. I must carve out my own future or die trying. Um, yeah, so I believe, like, straight off the bat, you, oh, my God. <laughs> straight off the bat, you can endeavor to clear your debt. Um, or you can tell them to get stuffed. Like, I think they're going to, like, foreclose on your house, is, is if I recall correctly. Or you can say get stuffed and just give up on it all and move on. And uh, and I'm all about that life. And the game sort of just lets you do whatever, you know. You know. Oh, I could use a second sh a second torch. Can I equip a torch as a weapon as well? No. Okay. If I attack with it with no, no, it's with my fists. We don't want the torch getting interfered with. Tattered attire. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the studio is indie as buggery. Like, it's not going to win any super awards on the graphics, but, like, I don't think that's the point, you know? Like, if you really want to get into it, even Dark Souls and all that is generally... The fidelity of the graphics is usually pretty... Uh, but they, they do artistic spectacle. So, but that's not what we're here for, you know? We're here more for the simulation component. Gather drinking water? Can I... Can I drink? And I can gather. I don't have a water skin, so I need that. And you can go to your... St here, this... I did the tutorial before we started. So we've got food, water, sleep, corruption. And then you've got the temperature gauge. And also your health and stamina down the corner. As you do stuff, the max of that reduces also. Which, um incentivizes you to say rest and that sort of thing. Okay, what's going on up here? Who's this bloke? Use bedroll. Hello, sir. Oh, it's Zan, my buddy. Scarlet, you're alive. You must be freezing. Um, well, I mean, you can see the temperature gauge down the bottom left. We're doing all right. Come, warm up by the fire before you freeze to death. Where are we, Zan? The last thing I remember was our ship hitting a rock. Not far from home. Oh. You can see the lighthouse from here, can't okay. you? Okay. Lighthouse. Where's the lighthouse? No, but I think that's the point. Ito made it out too. He's making his way home to Cierzo to go get help. Ito made it out alive too. Thank Elat. He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. This probably isn't the first time he's had to survive a shipwreck. Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bedrolls. Sure, I'll think about it. What's in this? Bread, baby. Um, I'll, I'll have a quick nap. I'll have a quick nap. Um, sleep. Ambush. Guard. Ambush is zero percent anyway, so who cares? I'll have I'll have a really quick I'll have a quick nap just in case it's about moving the story forward or something. You can decraft most weapons and armors. Okay. Uh, place only that manual recipe. Oh, never mind. You can store any item you don't want in the stash chest found in homes. Okay. Yeah, currency has weight. That's a cool point, right? So, like, if you wanna if you wanna fill up on all loot from dungeon delving. You gotta pay the bloody price. You gotta you gotta carry it out, you know? Ask innkeepers found in each city 
information directions. Guards can also provide advice. Geez, we're loading a fair bit. I feel like this will advance the story. Okay, so we can talk. Oh, here we go. Unconsciousness comes quickly, and you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed. Relief floods you as you recognize where you are. You are back in your old bed at home, the lighthouse of Cierzo. Oh, okay. Zan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. Food rots with time. Okay, thank you. Cool. All right, we're going to sleep on the floor next to the bed. Nice. Oh, my hair is looking grand. Worker boots, worker attire. That sounds... That sounds like something we should put on, right? What are we wearing at the moment? Tattered attire. Resistances too. Oh, no, let's put... I think we automatically put the boots on. Looking very dapper now. Okay, cool. So, um... So, what's this? Primitive satchel. Equip. Yeah, okay. I've got myself a backpack now. What's going on in my stash? Um... Oh, nothing. Pocket. I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Some gabberries. Some jerky. Jeez, me house is pretty cool. Bread. Oh, what is this? Cierzo Ceviche. Seviche. I don't know what that is. I'm not much of a connoisseur of, of the foods. Improvised bedroll, flint and steel. Oh man, this game is setting me up to go. Now you can use the kitchen. At a campfire you can't combine things unless you've got a cooking pot. But with this, I could I could make gabberry a tartine. Gabberry jam thinly spread on bread. Oh wow. Used to multiply the effects of jam into several portions. That's a good idea. Meat stew, travel ration. We just need a bit of salt. How about we let's make some tartine? Let's go. Yeah, oh nice. That's gonna be delicious. Some jam bread. What's this? Old lantern? Okay. Now, can we equip that to our satchel? No. Has to be a backpack, I think. If I press D-pad left, I can turn that off. Okay, cool. Well, oh no, whoops, put that back on, sir. No, no. Equip. All right, we're going to put this away. Flint and steel. Oh, nice. Teaches you how to craft food using a cooking pot. Let's, yeah, let's learn that. Recipe is learned. Can I cook it over here? Oh, what is this? Dish of raw rainbow trout that keeps the fish's mana restoring and elemental resistance attributes. Oh, nice. Bit of seaweed, bit of trout. You see what I mean? This game's going to be hardcore as buggery. I don't think we can go up this ladder. Uh, that's a boat, not a door. And that's a door right here. Entering Cierzo Street. Oi! Okay, what's going on, team? Rise and shine, trog spawn. You'll oh, steady on. For four months and not pay what you owe the tribe. Uh, what? The blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. For you as long as you did, if right? I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten. You'll regret you ever came home. Jesus Christ! Okay, hang on. I just I just woke up from a shipwreck. Have a heart, will you? Yeah, you were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? What? I lost my daughter on that voyage. You bring ruin to the tribe just like your grandmother. Wait, what? You're being unreasonable. Don't make this violent. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's not bring violence to the table. This doesn't change the fact that I have no money right now. Nah, fuck them. You're being if unreasonable. If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home. That ought to cover four months of ignoring your duty to the tribe. Wow. Fuck this Enough place. Enough of this. Twelve people are dead. Yeah, right? Stop this shameful behavior at once. This is a time for the tribe to come together and mourn our lost loved ones. 
not to demand payment from a survivor. Stop this shameful behaviour at once. Exactly. To someone like this while the lost lives are still fresh is an insult to their memory. Yeah, good. Thanks, Riza. She gets it. Under the laws of the Blue Chamber Collective, I have declared a period of mourning. You understand what that means, don't you? I do not. Chamber Lady Aberdeen. Scarlet has clearly been... I said that is enough. That's enough. If you if want to you take... Want to oh. resume discussions after the morning period, feel free. But until then, your concern should be for those whose lives were lost in the wreck. Yeah, fair enough. Oliel, see these people off, would you? You heard, Mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. Oh, who are these Sheilas running the place? I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. Yeah. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family and are not thinking straight. I don't want to live here. The culture here is spastic. I can't believe the, they want to seize my home. Can you do something? If I could do more, I would. You're in charge. The you can. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. Oh my god. The okay. Four months of missed payments of my blood debt or whatever it is. Okay. For five days, no one in the tribe can ask for what you that owe. That gives you a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the money or earn a tribal favor and they won't be able to touch you. Right. Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please find a way to make it work. There you go. The blood price is unfair. You can't hold me responsible for things that are out of my control, right? Have you forgotten why your family bears this blood price? She turned away the followers of Elat in our time of greatest need, forcing the tribe to pray only to the five winds for protection. So what? I didn't do that. Well. Dozens were slain by the beasts of the scourge. Your bloodline owes it to pay them back the debt. Oh my god. How could I possibly forget? Not a day goes by without someone... Rem yeah, this is not a good way to live. I can't bear this stupid blood price any longer. What if I just leave and never come back? A good question. If you think you can survive alone out there in the wild, you have that right. But remember, your tribe is your family. We achieve more together than we do our own. That is no... Yeah. And you are using that as leverage to abuse your position. It's cool. The fact that it agitates me so much is what makes it interesting. I can't possibly accomplish that. I need more time. people lost their lives in that shipwreck, leaving grieving kin behind. Their need outweighs yours. What need? I'm asking for an extension on the time to pay my debt. You must find a way to pay what is owed to the tribe. The last thing I want is to confiscate your home. Hey, have the fucking thing. I don't care. I'll that does seem like your most effective option, dangerous as it is. I doubt you'll be able to gather that much in such short a time just by staying in Cierzo. Never forget, no one is an orphan in Cierzo. Do not hesitate to ask the rest of the tribe for We will still advice. help you however we can. If Are you, you can do a great deed for someone this in is Cierzo, criminal. we will owe you a tribal favour. Nah. Once you're ready to leave Cierzo, speak with Burak, the gate warden. You will judge whether Remember, I'm ready or not. You only have a few days. May your ancestors watch over you. Nah, I'm good. I'll bring my ancestors honor. I'm glad you survived the wreck. I know how much you're counting on the expedition. That glowing sword is new. Where did you get it? Commissioned it for me as a going away present. I was going to leave this morning to join the holy mission of Elat before Mother could stop me. The shipwreck. It wouldn't be right to I have to stay with the tribe. I can't imagine your mother will let you go without another lecture. You have no idea. I don't know how I'm going to gather money. No, I'm not going to make it about me. I know. Risa has already promised me that she and I will be having a long talk. All right. You should just go now. You're abandoning your name and home anyway. Forget staying for the morning period. Yeah, true. I would. But Cierzo is still my home. No, it's not going to be. I can't just leave when it's in such pain. 
As soon as the morning period is over, though, I'm leaving. No matter what Mother says, I've delayed too long. Farewell, my friend. Oh, well, cool. Maybe I'll go join the bloody mission with her. Become a priest or something. That sounds that sounds possible. Now, do we get quest markers or anything like that in this game? I don't think so. I don't know. Do I get a, a map? Call to adventure. Yeah, if there's a map, I don't know how to get to it. Oh, D-pad right. I found it. There we go. How do I... Okay, so it must be like region locked. So if I leave here, I think we'll be we'll be good to go. All right, let's go for a little jog. All right, now she said I have to go talk to the bloke at the gate or something. Sears Can O'Guard. Merchant trainers, what's important about? Tell me about. Tell me about the surrounding region. If you want specifics? Ask Burak. Well, that's who I'm going to go talk to. Now, gate warden. Generally speaking, winter can get unbearably cold, so wear thick clothing and keep torches and campfires on hand. Okay, thank you. I will. And if you're interested in magic, there's a ley line under the Conflux Mountain, that large purple one in the middle of the region. Okay. Need something else? No, I'm good. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Carry on, then. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, mate. All right. Stepping off. It's a cool little town. Oh, it's like that's a shop. Okay. Oh, it's like, like the town center. Got the beach down here. It looks like the gate to me. Oh, look at this robust looking dude. Holy dooly. Are you the... Are you Burak? Oh, Hold up there, Scarlet. Where, where are you, you going? You're going? Oh, I'm going you're outside. Like that you are. You need at least an equipped weapon, a water skin, and an equipped backpack before you're ready to face the outside world. All right, okay. If I let you adventure outside without basic equipment, you'd be marching to your own death. Okay. You're to find a weapon, make yourself a quarterstaff. Okay, I can do that. You can also craft a backpack, although I'm sure you have one lying around home. I'm wearing it right now. I'm also sure you can find a spare water skin by the water, water purifier. Water purifier. On the town Okay, I'll make sure I'm prepared. Thanks, Burak. Uh, oh, what do I need to learn to survive in the wild? What's got you worried? I've noticed the longer I stay, the less maximum health. No, no, no. How important is it to eat and drink? How do I... Oh, no, it's okay. Your body has needs. Eat and drink when you need to. Okay, that's fine. Rest is the best remedy for a wounded body. Oh, okay. That ma This makes now, sense. Near civilization, I'm getting wet now. The night the end will take care of your needs. Okay, farewell. All right, so I've got a rain debuff. What's going on with that? Tell me. Cold weather, defense minus two. Oh, okay. Frost resistance, fire resistance. Oh, that's cool. And it keeps re-extending it as I get wet. Now, I should be able to steal these berries. Yum. Oh, look, there's like chocobos in there. That's cool. All right. Um, now, I think the water purifier... I actually remember this beach from when I played it way back in the day. I think that's the water purifier there. Water skin. Drink. Let's have a drink. And then gather clean. Now, is this game going to let me, like, save? I think so. Yeah, yeah, we'll double check. We'll double check all that. Cause I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like you can only save when you sleep. You know, it strikes me as that sort of game. Um, now he said craft a quarter staff. Let's get some tree wood. Can I get it from this little tree here? Gather wood. Okay. Can I craft a a, a staff? Primitive club. I can make that. But he mentioned a quarter staff. I'd like to make a quarter staff, sir. What do I need here? Linen cloth. Where am I going to get linen cloth from? I could pinch some, I guess. Do you reckon he'll let me through the gate with a club? I reckon he will. Primitive club. We can make that. Craft. Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's equip the club. And he said a water skin as well, but I guess... 
we can move that to my pocket. Menu, move to pocket. And then I think you can hot assign a quick slot, right? So let's put it on my left trigger. Okay, cool. So we've got water there. So you can you can use the left and right trigger to Oh look, I've got like a kick. Is that what that is? Yeah, alright, that's cool. Alright, I've got a club, I've got a backpack, I've got a water skin. What do you reckon, big fella? Can I leave? Need something? I'm going outside. Well, you got the essentials at least. Nice. Here. I'll teach you a skill. Oh please. Mastering these is the key to survival out in the wild. Want me to teach you one of the weapons? One, Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I want to learn one for a different weapon. No, no, this one will do. There you go. Mace Infusion. The key to survival out in the wild. Okay. You should look for trainers whenever you visit a town. They, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. All right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you want to head out. Thanks, mate. Oh, what was this skill that you taught me? Skills. Oh, what's this? Fire and reload. Dagger slash requires a dagger. Mace infusion. Block an elemental attack. Infusing your weapon with that element. Oh, okay. Well, that seems like pretty handy to have. Throw lantern. Creating a zone of fire. Using that skill destroys the lantern. Oh, that's, that's cool to have. Like, that's a good... Just in case sort of scenario. Let's do this. Mace infusion. Just in case. What's it what's it what's it do? It blocks an element or something like that. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Let's go. Melee weapons can make normal attacks and special attacks, which special attacks will be made to pins. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got like a basic attack and a special one. It's essentially you put it on the end of your combo. Is, is what I could tell. Might give it a, a whirly gig when we get outside. Travel one exterior region to another. You must use travel rations. Oh. They can be bought from merchants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so that's our normal attack. And that's our special attack, right? But if I were to go one, two, I could go one, two, one, two, three. Okay, it's all much of a muchness. Okay. Cool. And then, Jesus. Is that me up here? Sierzo. Right, so the map is a bit brutal. What are all... Are these, like, points of interest on the map? Do you think? Or are they, like, little mountains or something? Off we go. Yeah. I can't tell what the map's trying to tell me here. What's this? Bandit camp? Ancient ruins? Oh, they sound interesting, don't they? A fort? Conflux mountains? Yeah, right. Off I go exploring. Oh, is that the fork in the road already? Or is that an unmarked fork in the road? I can't truly tell. I think this is an unmarked fork. Can I, like, harvest this bush? Negative. I can get some berries. Berries are good. Berries are good. I can make jam with berries. Alright. Well, an adventure is just starting to start out. I know that there's like wolves and shit, and uh, they will absolutely mess you up. I know that much. Berries all over the place. Yeah, right. All right, well, look, I mean, uh, I guess we've got the ball rolling. God, I look chad as anything. Um... And uh, I guess the adventure sort of begins. It doesn't tell me where I am on the map, so... I mean, I don't think I'm going along here. I, I feel like I'm sort of down here or something, but it's hard to tell. It's hard to be sure. I could be wrong. I often am. No, I'm going straight south. Down this road. 
So yeah, the map is only accurate to a point. Can we see little small roads? Maybe that's a road there, you know? In which case, is that something interesting there? I, I can place markers potentially. That's cool. That's cool. All right, team, outward. Oh, geez, some wolves up there. We might avoid them for the moment. Might go start shit with them shortly after. What a banger of a game. I'm keen to be playing this again. I really am. I feel like uh, the audience that we have here would be interested in seeing this. Make sure you let me know if you want to, because as always, I like to play what you guys want to see more of. I'm happy to play just about anything I showcase on the channel. All right, team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.